or mulch. You know when your hay guy calls you and say, you better take it today or you're not getting it? Well, I got more mulch and it was perfect timing. That's why I went ahead and left that gate in this fence so we could get in and out of here. But why didn't I go ahead and have him take it all the way into the garden? A couple reasons. One, we don't want to drive on this. And two, we've had enough rain just the last week or so that I think he gets stuck in here and I don't want him tearing it all up. Besides, this way I can open it up and I can put this where I want to put it. We're not just going to put hay down. We are going to go ahead and put more wood chips, more leaves, whatever I can get my hands on. You know my recipe, anything that's organic or once was alive. You got to watch out for your hay that it hadn't been pre-treated. Since it's been baled and been rained on, I got a little bit of vetch coming here. I got a little bit of grass. This one's not been sprayed. I know it's not been sprayed because I know the guy that put this up. And he told me I could say he's cheap. He's not going to spray anything on his fields. Although he did spend a little money on a new baler, and these bales are much tighter than the last couple of years. You know, we still got another month before winter, but today is Saturday, and you know what that means. We're going to go to you, and we're going to celebrate what's going on in your house. And we've got some contributors to this channel that are getting ready for the winter. Art's been playing around with small plastic greenhouses for several years. This year, he went ahead and built his own, a 12 by 12, and this is beautiful. Just like me, he's going to experiment on how he's going to heat it. I'm going to take cues from him. He's a pretty clever man. Art, this looks great. You already got peppers in there. If you look at the weather map, we got storms all around America. We got snow, we got bomb cyclones, we got all kinds of things going on. But this morning here in zone seven, it's about 58 degrees right now after our frost. Usually, when we get that heavy frost, everything goes all at once. But this is sort of in slow motion. Oh, we got a ladybug still out here. But as we move into winter, this stuff all will die back. I kind of hate to see it go in slow motion, but we're still able to get a pepper or two. We've got another contributor to this channel, Howard, in Tennessee. He's definitely ready for winter. He's brought in more mulch. Look how beautiful his garden is. He's got hoops ready to cover. He's still finding wine capped mushrooms. Howard, you're going to be eating well through Christmas. This is wonderful. Thank you for the motivation. <laughs> We're still getting pretty good carrots out of this patch. You remember we planted this with the hack with the cardboard? That was early this year. And the deep mulch, it's soft enough to grow nice, straight, long carrots just like that. You can do this too. Walter's only an hour or so south of me, and he had that same forecast for frost. Let's check out what his garden did this week. Walter went ahead and harvested everything that wouldn't take the cold. And then he used tarps to cover everything. Walter, it looks like your squash made it through the frost. Hopefully you'll be able to eat on that to Christmas. This is wonderful. Thank you for sharing. Yeah, I forgot to bring my clippers out here. So I'm not going to grab those okra pods right now. But there are going to be some pretty nice little seed pods. Now I do ask you to leave a comment down below and let everybody know how much you appreciate them sharing what's going on in their garden. And I do invite you to become a member of this group. There's no obligation. You just send in a photo now and again, help motivate people and show them just exactly what's possible in a garden. Now coming back on through here. I can't tell if there's seeds in there or if that's the leaves rattling. This is my first year growing lupus, so I really don't know. Leave a comment down below. Let me know if I should go ahead and pick this and let it dry at the house or just let it dry on the vine. Well, the tomato that we planted early last year has finally given up the ghost, but we also planted some lettuce in here. So once I clean this up a little bit, all I have to do is put a cover over this, and we've got a natural cold frame for the rest of the winter. And just on the other side, we got parsley that we'd be able to make it through the winter. This parsley, it grew up and it seeded out. This basil, actually some of the leaves on this basil still look okay. We did lose all the sweet basil, but this is a Thai basil, and it seems like it made it through a little bit. One of the main reasons I don't want to cover this quite yet is we still have some grasshoppers out here, and if you can see, we got a little bit of damage on some of these cabbage leaves. Since it has been cold, the bug pressure seems to have let up, and these have doubled in size just in the last couple days. 
Now we went ahead and started this little pepper a little late and put it in the ground a little late. And it's got flowers and it's got little peppers. I think I'm going to be able to find enough room in the house to go ahead and repot this one and bring it in. We've been covering it every night and it's doing fine. But I would hate to lose it. It's a little bitty sweet pepper. I have no idea what kind it is. You know me. I don't mark anything. But we're just tickled we have it. So you tell me. This is a volunteer tomato. And it's holding on better than all the rest of them. And we still have tomatoes coming on here. Those have just ripened in the last day. We've been trying to keep this thing stripped. But I still see we got a few green ones down in there. Surely it's not going to be able to hold on too much longer. So whether your garden is completely done or it's a slow progression in the winter like I'm getting this year, time to go ahead and bring in more mulch. Whatever organic material you can get your hands on. And you've seen we put some cardboard down, we put some wood chips down, we put some sawdust down, leaves down. It was so dry for the remainder of the summer this year, I don't have any grass clippings. And we do have a ton of leaves coming down. So if there's nothing else to do, you can always rake leaves. There's a couple really cold hardy plants you ought to think about having in your garden. We've got a little bit of celery and a little bit of parsley. I've got them scattered it throughout the garden. This is purslane, it's a wild edible, we just let that grow. And these seem to be more cold hardy than that. And we. Some of the big patches of green you see is curly dog. And we even have a few peas back there that the groundhog didn't get, and it's coming back a little bit, just not like what I hoped. Yeah, before I get out here and rake any more leaves, I'm gonna go to the house and have a cup of coffee, maybe a little bit of lunch. You can do this too. And until next time, remember, take care of yourself, take care of your family, and God bless you. Come on, let's plant. Let's go plant garden.